in the ever-evolving landscape of electric vehicles, NEO is yet again making waves with its latest innovative unveilings. The China-based EV automaker showcased its groundbreaking SkyOS, dubbed as China Spice Fail to Ground Powered Nets, Marine Sex Title Din Reckons really needed the delivery as an additional contest. It it was regularly agreed by a dead efficient that it was installed day event in Shanghai, marking a significant stride in enhancing user experience and vehicle connectivity. Uh, SkyOS, uh, quite a glimpse into the future of the EV tech. So it and SkyOS stands out as Neo's comprehensive domain operating system, forming a unique one plus four plus N technology cluster. This system encompasses vehicle control, intelligent driving, cockpit, mobile connectivity, and much more, setting a new standard in the EV industry. The cluster is designed to support multiple operating system requirements, ensuring a secure and reliable base for both the cockpit and autonomous driving domains. Uh, delving into the technicalities, the 1 and the 1M plus 4 plus N represents SkyOS H, a hypervisor, while the 4 symbolizes four subsystems. SkyOS M, a microkernel based system. SkyOS L, a lightweight and reliable system. SkyOS R, designed for high performance and complex scenarios. And SkyOS C, a customized system based on Android. The N denotes the middleware of SkyOS dedicated to various fields such as AR framework, sensor framework, power management and network. Uh, this intricate system underlines NEO's commitment to integrating a wide range of devices for uh, efficient collaboration, enabling the company to realize the, the mass production of some of the SkyOS middle layer through its first generation platform, NT 1.0, and SkyOS L through the second generation NT 2 platform. The upcoming NT 3.0 base platform will feature the full-fledged SkyOS promising a seamless enhanced user experience. Neo's in-car app store. Uh, Neo isn't stopping there. Uh, the company is also launching an app store for its vehicle cockpits, uh, which is anticipated to elevate the in-car experience with initially over 40 specially adapted apps available from September 22nd. This app store acts as a content eco platform, allowing partners to build native apps that safely utilize the vehicle's capabilities. The available encompass various domains, including social media platform Xiao Hong Shu, video platform Yuku, and short video platform Kuai Show, Broadman the entertainment options for Neo drivers. Uh, furthermore, Neo introduced its first smartphone, the Neo Phone, offering seamless connectivity and content sharing between the phone and the vehicle. This feature allows users to display a virtual phone on the vehicle's center screen, providing direct access to the apps installed on the Neo phone, thereby enhancing the interaction between the vehicle and its user. Uh, with the unveiling of the SkyOS and the Incar App Store, Neo is steering the EV industry towards a future where technology and convenience converge. The company's efforts to integrate smartphone technology with vehicles signify a step forward in redefining the driving experience, blending entertainment, connectivity, and functionality. Uh, of course, this isn't the first attempt to create a dedicated vehicle operating system that fully integrates with uh, our mobile life. We have uh, Huawei's Harmony OS, and we have Google and Apple uh, constantly improving their offering. Meizu is on the case as well since becoming part of Geely's Emporium, but uh, at least on paper, uh, Neo's attempt appears to be uh, the most complete and most accomplished. Uh, Real-life tests will put all the claims to, uh, uh, to an unforgiving test.